My name is Femi Adifila. I'm a media entrepreneur. I'm the CEO of Rave 91.7 FM, here in the city of Oshobo. My father, my late father, introduced me to radio. My father loved radio. Radio was an essential ingredient of his daily living. The best way to ignite my father's wrath was to mess up his little transistor radio, or to mess up his Berek battery or Tiger batteries. That was my first baptism in mass media. My father trusted radio and every content that came from it. It was like gospel truth. He never doubted it. Some of us who have been around for quite a long time, and you listen to Radio OYO, the mother radio for most radio stations in this climb, Radio OYO, do you remember? That was the signature team that woke up us in the morning. That was the time check for us at noon. And that was what tell, told us to sleep at sunset. That was how much radio was important to us. And each time, my father was a farmer. On the farm, a radio was always on, on cocoa tree or kola nut tree. And my father always noted with corresponding approval when news were being read. So that ignited something in me that this man is a huge consumer of media content and I developed interest in broadcasting. My career path in mass communication was largely influenced by my father. That seed was sown in my little impressionable mind as a youngster growing up with my father. And in the last 27 years, I've traversed media houses from the Broadcasting Corporation of Ohio State to the Broadcasting Corporation of Ohio State. I had a brief stint with government as public relations person here in the state of Ohio, and of course, at the Ministry of Defense. And of course, I returned to my first love, which was broadcasting. I went to National Television Authority and I became the presenter of the popular Insight. Insight was watched by about 50 million Nigerians at the time I was presenting it. But this is my story. I discovered there was a lacuna, that was a gap, that was a conspiracy of the elite against ordinary people. And that's why I tagged my presentation, giving media access to ordinary people. Media access, media narratives, media conversation as we speak today is largely controlled by the elite to their advantage and to our disadvantage. Media is a repository of knowledge. Media is the bank of knowledge and information. Information rules the world. And the elite are using their assets to media to determine what we know, what we don't know, to their advantage and to our disadvantage. And that was why I came up with the idea of Rave 91.7 FM. Somebody told me something. At the altar of corruption, nobody asks the question where you come from. Nobody bothers whether you are an Aousa Fulani, or a Yoruba man, or an Igbo man. Nobody cares about your faith, whether you are a Muslim, or you are a Christian, or you are a pagan. The elite are united in their collaboration that are called unholy collabo to cheat ordinary Nigerians. And what is important for us to know is that to reverse the trend, the government must speak to the governors. The subject must speak to the king. The subject must speak to principles. And you can only speak to authorities and power via the instrumentality of the media. And that is what RIF FM is doing. And I want to let you know that People say we have oases of wealth in the desert of poverty in Nigeria. Or should I say we have an island of wealth in a notion of poverty in Nigeria. The sustenance of that depends largely on how far the elite 
can continue to control the media. So when Rave Night 1.7 FM came on board, in our own little way, we came up with a determination to reverse the trend. And now we're reversing the trend to give conversation within the space of ordinary people. The first program that we hold every morning between 9 and 10 is called Frank Talk. Frank Talk is an audience participatory conversation why people are allowed to call in. And we speak to every subject within the national polity, every trending issue, be it political, be it economic, spiritual, social, we speak to it. Just a few days ago, a professor was kidnapped along Ibadan, if an expressway. It's a professor of the greatest university in this area, the Obafemi Awolowo University. Somehow, five million naira was coughed out to bait the professor out of the clutches of kidnappers. Five million naira could have provided surveillance on that stretch of road. But the elites will not do what they should do. So these are issues that we focus every day. And of course, we allow people to call in. And I must confess to you, it is not in the interest of the elite that we allow such conversation to continue. That's a program that we call Uju Eleri. It's a Yoruba program. It simply means I witness I can't. People use the platform to ventilate on infrastructural gaps within their domain and their environment. It had told the media is a collaborator in allow the government to cheat the ordinary people because we listen more to them than we listen to the people. So we need to control the flow of information for there to be a balance and a reversal of the trend that we have in Nigeria today and even in Africa. But well, let me remind you, in 1791, the first amendment to American Constitution was called Bill of Rights. And one of the rights in that Bill of Rights was freedom of press. And within the drafters' consciousness, they want the media to be with the purview of ordinary Americans. And if that nation is great today, it is because there's free access to the media by ordinary people. But when you come to our climb, ordinary people have no access to the media. It is the elite that have unfettered access to the media. On the program like Uju Eleri, we allow people, do you live in Gmomi? The bridge within your environment is not working. Do you live in Modakeke? Awusa Fulanese are threatening you, and you need to to let us know so that people in authority can do something? Is the teacher in your school extorting you as a student? That's a platform for you to call in and let us be aware. Is someone within your neighborhood using these mentalities of government to oppress you? Or is PHCN or power distribution company getting or passing across to you what we call crazy builds without corresponding power supply, or there's not been water in your neighborhood in the last 10 years, this is the platform for you to come to ventilate so that we get we, we are aware of what is going on. That is reversing the trend of communication within the public space so that ordinary people, ordinary Nigerians, we have access to media conversation. That's a program that is very popular it is called Igbi Majoru. Igbi Majoru is people's parliament on air. That is giving ample opportunity to people, regardless of your social status, to pick up your call and speak to any issue of national importance that the speaker must have thrown out or thrown up for conversation. And I must confess to you, it's been a very popular program that has won several awards. What am I saying? It is in the bid to reverse communication within the public space and situate ordinary people in a very important corner in public conversation. Apart from that, there's another program we call Thompson and the Gang. 
It happens every Saturday morning. They hear this money. Panelists come on board every Saturday to speak to any issue of national importance without fear of favor and without fearing whose us is God. It has been a success story in terms of giving communication power back to ordinary people. And if you are very sincere and committed to defining, redefining tomorrow, it is very important. I know what information means. I trade in the business of information. The media controls your life one way or the other. That's what we call agenda setting theory in mass communication. What the media apps on becomes the gospel truth. Do you agree with me? What the media repeat is what you regurgitate without digesting it. So that is why the elites have taken hold of the media that they can control our lives perpetually. And the only way to, re to redefine tomorrow is to ensure that we situate ordinary people within the space of public communication. We have another program we call Men on Court. Men on Court is a program strictly for men. How do you become a better husband, a better boyfriend, a better son? The secret that men love to keep, we discuss it in the most free and fair manner. And the greatest callers on that phone are ladies. That's a program we call Ladies Unscripted. We have situated salon on air. You go to salon, you follow your wife to salon, ladies discuss freely at salon. Do you agree with me? So we brought it on air so that you can discuss and speak to issues that are gender-based, that promote gender issues. And that is the essence of that program. What I'm saying is this, I've listed this program because I believe the conversation is very important if we are in committed to redefining tomorrow. Because tomorrow is just a few hours away. I read with sadness in my heart when the Minister of Labour said, sooner than later, the unemployment rate in Nigeria will move to the region of 32%. That came from government spokesperson. The IG came on air and said, within January, February, and March this year, a total of 1,100 have been kidnapped in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those are statistics that are not palatable. And the only way for us as ordinary people to get involved in finding solutions to a national problem is to get the conversation right. I must confess to you today the conversation is not right. What I'm speaking of may sound esoteric, but it's the truth. And that is exactly the story of Rave 91.7 FM. My colleagues within the media space have been a collaborator in allowing the elite to hold on to the reins of power and, of course, to continue to perpetuate themselves one way or the other without knowing. They themselves are victims. But they've perfected the art so very much that you will not even notice until you do a due diligence on why, what is the interest of the elite in the media. And I speak of every genre of the media, from television to radio, from radio to newspaper. Number one, the access is restricted. The prices are expensive, and I must confess to you, this elite constitutes a very small, if any, test map population within our nation. But they are so strong, they are so powerful, that they get everything they want. And the only way that you and I can make a difference is to continue to explore the media space to put within the media space those issues that you are passionate about. That is the only way we can redefine tomorrow. To join the conversation for redefining tomorrow, to join the conversation and the narratives for making the difference within your own little spaces. We can only start by making differences within our little spaces. 
by speaking up and not keeping quiet and joining the media conversation is the only way in our own right within our space that we can make contribution to redefining tomorrow. I thank you very much. Thank you.